in the midst of the dark sea is a land called Crete, fair and fertile, surrounded by the waves. In 1944, 3,000 years after Homer's time, Crete was fighting another Homeric battle, this time against the occupying Germans. Fighting at her side was a handful of fellow islanders from the British Isles. Nobody outside Greece knows what the Cretans went through in those years following the German invasion. It was a nightmare of horrors, most of it caused by their kindness to allied stragglers, sheltering them, feeding them, looking after them as after their own children. Out of this comradeship grew the famous Cretan section of Force 133, watching and waiting in the mountains, planning sabotage and sending reports from secret radio stations. Like hungry wolves, they looked down on their quarry below. And when one of them came down into the valleys, it spelt trouble for the Germans. Gnosis, Palace of King Minos. Might make a good hideout. The Villa Ariadne. Welcome to Knossos. Many Germans here. The Commander-in-Chief lives at the Villa Ariadne. That's why. So... You kill him? No. Kidnap him. Impossible. Utterly. Kidnap him from the Villa? What do you think? Very difficult. Electrified fence, many sentries, many dogs. Cut the wire, strike the dogs, kill the sentries. All possible. But you'll never get him away alive. We're going to bring him back alive to Cairo. Panaya! Wonderful plan. That's what I thought. 
You make them look absolute fools. That's the idea. But you'll never snatch him from the villa. It'll have to be done on the open road, between here and his headquarters at Arianes. I'll think about it. Let's go into town. I want to see the dentist. to warn you. He must have missed you. This house is being watched. Is it? I've brought you some potatoes. Been hunting around all morning. Thank you. So you come in. Good. I can do with a couple of German MP uniforms. Just what I want. Well, this is no time for joking, my friend. Well, what are you waiting for? Get to work on him. Why me? I'm terrified of dentists. You know that I am. Well, what about you? Don't be a fool. Look, I've got my identity card. I speak fluent Greek. No German can tell my accent. They have a Greek policeman with them. He could. Well, promise me you won't hurt me, because I can't bear being hurt. If you have your nerve, I'll oh, scream with pleasure. None of this was in the original plans at all. You better give me one of those gags and keep my mouth open. Oh, on the instrument table. Well, yeah? Yes. That's it. Oh. Low angle of. Bringen Sie den Griechen rein. Merci. Kennen Sie diesen Mann? Ja, das ist Miguel Gumianagis. Die kenne ich, oder? Das ist die Und wer ist dieser andere Kerl da? Yoshino Alas. Ich sag, was macht du das City? Was sagt er? Ich bin Peter. So, sein Vetter. Oh, oh, Senior. Kontrollieren Sie die Ausweise. Jawohl. Zeigen Sie Ihren Pass. Ihre Papiere. Ihre Papiere. Tja, so, der scheint in Ordnung zu sein. Der andere. Der andere! Sind auf Tali Dasu? Tosa Kakimo. Was sagt er? Im Jackett. Gut. Ausweise. Papier. Ein verfluchter Spion! Achtung! Feuer der Handkommen! Was ist der Krieg von Torifon? Klarofon. Was war denn? Luckily, the chap I've got coming from Cairo is just the right size for this uniform.
off and head together. Third down, number one. All right. Hello. I say hello. You must be Moss. I'm Sandy. You don't know me, but I know all about you. Paddy, be along in a minute. How do you do? How do you do? Sandy. Oh, I've got a message for you from a namesake of yours, uh, Sandy Rendell. Uh, he's in Cairo just now. Oh, yes, I, I know he is. Well, what did he say? Yes, Sue. What does it mean? Oh, hello. By the way, this is Johnny Hausman. He's one of our cavemen from Mount Ida. He's been here a year and he's going out on leave now. <laughs> I've heard a lot about you from Paddy. Good luck. Good luck yourself. You'll need it. Well, I'll be off. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, uh, just a minute. What about the boots? I'm taking this pair with me. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, let's have them. That's a rule of ours. Come on, let's have them. You know there's a shortage of boots. Hey. Yeah, a nice pair of boots. They're the only pair of boots I, I ever had that fitted me. Excuse me for a moment, will you? I, I just have a couple of letters to post. Hello. Hello. Uh, are you English? My name's Harry. Are you a friend of Paddy? Yes. Ah, Paddy, great friend of me also. Hey, careful, that's loaded. Oh, he's all right, he's wonderful. I like a gun loaded. I don't like a gun not loaded. How far is the nearest <laughs> German post? This way. Time to smoke, maybe. Two cigarettes. But we don't go this way. Now. You see this way. Time for one half cigarette. This way not good. We go this way. Ah, Bill. There you are. Well, well. Come on up. Oh, I've done some wrecking. Now you're here, we can get on with the rest of the job. Oh, by the way, this is Anne Danny, my right and left hand man. This is Captain Moss. Yes, sir, Captain, Captain Moss. Moss. How do you do? Well, what is the job? I'll tell you that later. Did you bring the whiskey? A case. Good. The golden sovereigns? They're in my pack. They weigh like lead. Yes, they go farther than that. Yes, sir. Well, what do you think of it? I'm in a complete daze. I like your outfit. With this? Mm. It's rather nice. I like them to think they're sort of Duke. Latter-day Lord Byron. George! Manoli! Billy <laughs> Dam! Yes, 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 Much longer. 
more cigarettes. You've been saying that ever since midnight. I make it 18 since we started. He means Greek cigarettes, you mean English. <sighs> I'm beginning to learn. <laughs> Faster than it's over there. The luck will stop there, under the roof. <laughs> What's that smell? Hmm? Oh, me. Sorry. But I, I, I'll get downwind of you. You see, I, I haven't washed for six months. A man of the people, that's me. Tell me, where is this wireless station of yours? Oh, it's, it's about two, two nights' walk from here. At least it was when I left my sergeant in charge. Of course, you never know here in Crete. The Germans are always trying to pinpoint us. If they get wind of us, well, we, we, we move on. Speaking of wind, hasn't the wind changed? <laughs> yes, it has, rather. Sorry. <clears throat> That's the old chair. Local police. Bill, this is Michaela's sister, Captain Bill Moss. Alex, it's the Guinness, eh? How do you do? How do you do? Allosaurus is really there. Captain Moss. Allosaurus is with him. The psychic to the human is in those men is a total of honor, and the pion must be the exact Bill, I'm going to leave you from here. This takes a long, long time. I've had it all before. And I'm going to leave you from here. Παιδιά, καλώς ορίσετε. Σιγεία. Σιγεία. Always. Maria. Eyeball, great compliment. Thank you, but I draw the line at a sheep's eyeball. You must be mad. Greatest delicacy. Pity, help. Translation. What? It's an anonymous. What's your name? Bill. Mama? Ah. Ah, the cacomira. The cacomira. The day for the justice. Does she know where you are tonight? I certainly hope not. <laughs> oh, you're not. Oh. 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 
She says, don't go and lose your dear little life. I won't. Still, it is after you. See, we've got this island pretty well buttoned up. Money for jam. Tell me, how'd you get my transfer through? I pulled a lot of strings. You've got a big job to do. Wonderful. Risk is held, eh? What's the form? Ever heard of General Kreiter? No, uh, Jerry General? Mm. They've got 30,000 paratroops on this island. General Kreiter's their divisional commander-in-chief. Good luck to him. What is the job? He is. We're going to snatch him and take him over to North Africa. Kidnap the CNC? Mm -hmm. Just the two of us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pinch me, I'm dreaming. <clears throat> Mind you, the Cretans will back us up in this, too. Yes. What about the Cretans? They must run the most incredible risk. And yet they all seem to... What's he say? Oh, the Harris. The Harris. Stem, brother, Chimito. He can't see from me. Can't see from me. What's up? So I've living in the town too long. He says he can't sleep with a goat anymore. Oh. <laughs> He's no Cretan. Oh, well, let me go. I don't mind. I, I smell myself. Actually. Sandy. Uh, pleasant dreams. <laughs> Go on. So we've decided to do something spectacular. Something we can do on the cheap. Cheap? Well, you can have me very cheap. Who else is in on this? Just us three at the moment. And Mikio Kumenakis. Who's he? Our chief agent in the Rackley. Sandy, I thought he couldn't stick it. Let him in. <laughs> Oh, it's the goat! Well, <laughs> 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 oh. good night. <sighs> good night. Take all day. How do we look? You okay? Feel okay in the dark? You know, you look like an Englishman dressed as a German leaning against the Ritz bar. For heaven's sake, try and look a bit more like the master race. Got an animal. Come, Markin! That's better not get it. If only I had a monocle. Police corporals don't wear monocles. Good. Uh, I do feel naked without my moustache. Here comes General now! Nice car. 
Looks like a Mercedes. Is Mercedes. 1941 model. Gray with brown leather, engine six cylinder, special fog lamp, yellow, two big headlamps. Both out of line. Adjusted. Driver was working on them this morning early. 9.15 now. The general leaves the Villa Ariadne every morning at 9 to drive here his headquarters. He stays till 1 o'clock, then drives back to the villa for lunch. He returns around 4 o'clock, then drives back to the villa for dinner around 8.30. In the dark. Yeah. That's the time to stick him up. How far is it from here down to the main road? One cigarette, maybe two. Does he always stick to the same timetable? More or less. Sometimes, General plays cards after working. Cards? Yeah, a game called Bridge. General, not very good player, but very lucky. General, great believer in luck. Round neck wears a little black bag with lucky gold coin in it. Coin saved General's life on the Russian front. Bullet hit coin instead of general. Pity. <laughs> How do you know all this? I too am spy. Intelligence service. I find out. He's a friend of the general's cook. Pretty? Very fat. Bill, don't be frivolous. Sorry. Not a girl. A man. You know, the fact that he sometimes stays longer at headquarters is very important. Because when he doesn't turn up, Maybe a couple of hours before they give the alarm. Next thing to do is to find a place to hold up the car. We'd better wreck you the road. This is a good spot. Yes. Is that the main road? Main bus route from Timbaki to Heraklion. It's a pit of a place for an end. Here come truck now. Mm, he certainly slowed down at the junction. And the general's driver's very careful. He's bound to slow down, too. I've got it. Grab the general's car, drive straight through Heraklion and out the other side. It's money for jam. Yes, this is it. If we ever lies down that road there, he can signal us when the general's car comes. Alarm buzzer. Dry battery. If I get very long wire, I can ring buzzer beside you. I know where I can steal plenty of electrical wire. I got plenty of wire. Why use your own when I can steal it? No point taking a risk. No take risk, only take wire. I get wire. Ah. When me and George do something. Don't worry, your turn will come. You can help us deal with the general and his driver. Now, this signaling business is very important. If we snap the general at night, how's the going to know that it's his car? I know. All right, come down the road and prove it. OK.
Volkswagen. Is this the General's wagon? Is this the General's wagon? Hmm? Is this the General's wagon? I'm rehearsing it for. Oh, thank you, sir. Did you not hear it? No, it was but the wind, or a car rattling over the stony street. On with the dance. Let joy be unconfined. No sleep till morn when youth and pleasure. Just to get our own NSU motorcycle combination. No sleep till morn, when youth and pleasure meet to chase the glowing hours with flying feet. Rockload of troops. Mercedes. Is this the get out wagon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Come on! Let me! Him the hard one! Money for tab, petrol tax full. It was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We'll show them. We'll show those sons of. No, no, Mickey, not in front of the children. Fest in the Deutsch. No, passen Sie auf. Stop it, Mickey. Stop it, Mickey. Sorry, a handbrake. Close enough for you. Nice time. General Kuiper. George, let him speak. General Kuiper. Yeah. Ich bin Major Lee Fairmore, das ist Captain Moss. Wir sind britische Offiziere. Sie sind in Kriegsgefangener. Verstehen Sie? Ja, ich verstehe. Wo ist mein Hut? Hier. Here comes number one. Slow down, let him see the pennant, but don't stop whatever you do. Get the general out of sight. The Himmel Astrid, sir! The Bovans in his Okay, Philly, then. We're sitting on him. First time I sit on General. Very hard seat. I sit on General's stomach. Very comfortable. <laughs> looking after us. He's gone back into the post. That was the first one. Now for number two. Same drill? Hmm. Get anywhere! He's gone to telephone the General's villa. The General. Villa Ariadne, yeah? 
Die General. Ja, ja, gut. Raus da! Schnell! Der General kommt! Mach das Tor auf! Schnell! Der Herr General! Schnell, schnell, schnell! Der Herr General Kreipe kommt. Würden die Herren bitte verdunkeln? Na, los, los! Yes, yes, have a good one. Watch him, watch him. <laughs> Cock. Money for you. <laughs> Large built up area. Rapidly approaching. Directly. Here we come. Stiffen. Can't rush this. Machen Sie das Licht an, da kommt ein Wagen. Oops, so lazy. The General! Licht an, the General! Schalke aufmachen! Wach heraus! Los, los, schneller! Los! Garrison Cinema Show. Who is expecting? Hilfe, Gerard! Gerard! Ruddy motorcyclists, they're all alike. Gerard! Los, los, los! Mach frei hier! Gerard kommt! Los! Zur Seite! Wasch, wasch! Mach doch zur Seite! Seht ihr nicht, dass da Gerard kommt? Straße frei! Straße frei, sag ich! Der Gerald kommt! Mach! Mach los, los! Zur Seite! Which way? Turn right! Schande. Aber wie ist das möglich? Haben Sie in seinen Kraftwagen geguckt? Das wissen wir doch. Ich gehe zum Hauptquartier hinüber. Jawohl, Herr General. Sie eine Frau. Na, passen Sie mal auf, General Breuer kommt rüber. Number 22. And that's the last. Get him 
safely back to Cairo. Thank you. Did you hear that, Paddy? The general speaks English. Considerably better than your friend here speaks German. Your sentry thought my German was excellent. I am sorry for them. They will be in trouble tomorrow. Would you mind asking your friends to remove their knives? All right, let him up, boys. Thank uh, you. Oh. Do I understand that your plan is to take me to Cairo? Yes, John. Field Marshal Rummel didn't make it, but you will. <laughs> This is where we're going to ditch your car, so I'm afraid you'll have to get out. You're not going to leave me, Major. Only for a little while, sir. I wish to speak to you alone. George, you can speak in front of Captain Moss. You're not going to leave me in the hands of these uh, Cretans. Captain Moss will go with you, sir. Very well. Thank you. But may I remind you, sir, that in Crete, we're all in the hands of Cretans. My coat and briefcase. Very good, sir. Along. Do you want a few driving lessons? That's a mad. I'm a brilliant driver. Dieses ganze Gebiet hier will ich absperren. Setzen Sie 5000 Mann ein, 10.000, 20.000, wenn Sie wollen. General Kreipe muss gefunden werden. Starting plan. Diesel or stork? Diesel or stork. Thank you, sir. My German should be almost perfect by the time we deliver you in Cairo. If you deliver me in Cairo. All clear? All clear, Philly, then. No Germans in village. Scouting plan. They can't find the car yet. Come on.
Γεια σα! Δεν είναι καλό στο φίλο! Γεια σου, φίλε! Καλώ όρισε! Καλώ όρισε! George, grab one of them. Prosolus to Cretas. To all Cretans. Last night, the German General Kreiper was abducted by bandits. Bandits? Do they mean us? Oh, they mean it as a continent. Go on. The General is now concealed in the Cretan mountains, and his whereabouts cannot be unknown to the populace. The German army of occupation will pay 50,000 Reichsmarks to anyone whose information will lead to the discovery of General Kreiper. But if the general is not returned within three days, all rebel villages in the Heraklion district will be razed to the ground and the severest measures of reprisal will be brought to bear on the civilian population. How dare they? How do you mean? We left a sign note saying who we were. Cairo Radio broadcast that this is a military operation. Bill, I I'm sending runners to Tom and Dick Barnes to radio car and send a boat as soon as possible. Ah, so there are other Englishmen in Crete. You'd be surprised. Four men coming from the village. Cretans. Nikomanorakis! Paris Fred Carlis and his young brother. Nico! You think you're occupying this island, sir? Well, all the time you're like fat sheep penned in the valleys, watched by lean and hungry wolves from above. Uh, cigarette, sir? Sheep do not smoke. No well, wolves do. Bang it over, will you? What's the matter, Bill? Haven't you lost one of your decorations, sir? The one you used to wear around your neck. I know the grudge. This is terrible. Never mind. We'll get you another one in Cairo. Don't understand. That could only be a replica. Where do you think you lost it? In the car. Hmm. I thought I'd seen it since then. Bill. Yes? I'm gonna move on. How near are they? Less than half an hour away. The Strauss is going to stay in the village for half an hour. Yeah, we'd better get cracking. Yes, right away. Yes, sir, Stratis. Yes, sir, will you then? Yes, sir. Good luck. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid we should have to move on. Try and eat later. Your colleague, General Breuer, is being rather active. I'm delighted to hear it. I'll try and get your meal later on. For the moment, I hope you won't object to walking like the rest of us. I'm hardly in a position to object, madam. Well, where are you taking me now? To the birthplace of Zeus, father of the gods. Mount Ida. Quite a climb. One German cigar. <laughs> Ob Sie in diese Richtung gegangen sind oder in diese. Sie werden nicht weit gekommen sein. Alle Straßen werden bewacht. Wir müssen sie kriegen. Gestern Abend ist General Schreiber von Banditen verschleppt worden. Der General ist in den Bergen gefangen gehalten. Seine Aufgabe kann der Bevölkerung nicht unbekannt sein. Die deutsche Besatzungsarmee hat eine Erholung von 5.000 Reichsbahnen. 
more star shells. To the south of us this time. Thank you. Well, they're all around us. In the valleys, but we're in the mountains. And that's where we intend to stay. Have you a good ear? Mm, yes, the music, why? Listen. Aircraft. Sweet music to my ears. I've been waiting for that sound all night. And our boyer is doing exactly what I would do in similar circumstances. What is a circumstance, Philippe? It can be a number of things, George. Pleasant or unpleasant. Which is this, sir? Pleasant for me, unpleasant for you. Troop carriers, parachutists. You know, our boy realizes, of course, you're making for the south coast. He estimates your speed of travel, he drops parachutists to cut you off. This is exactly what I would have done myself. <laughs> I will go ahead alone, Philadelphia. From the door of this hut, you can see across the valley to Kedros. We will light fires in the mountains if it is dangerous to move. And if there are no fires, we'll join you tomorrow night. Where shall we meet? Uh, in the cave above Yerikari. It is well. Remember, if you see fires in the mountains, stay where you are. Yes, sir. 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 Three, possibly four aircraft. Sixty men, all fully armed. What sort of aircraft do you use for paradox, sir? Junkers. Well, you won't like what these aircraft are going to drop. They're Wellingtons. See what we mean, sir. The night is young. The Deutsche Besetzung Armee does. Herr General, vielleicht sind Sie auf dem Berg wieder. Ach, reden Sie nicht Unsinn. 500 Mann schicken Sie dahin. Hier werden Sie mindestens 2000 brauchen. Die motorisierten Kompanien, alle Fahrzeuge, sogar jedes Flugzeug. Ich will Resultate haben, meine Herren. Verstehen Sie? Resultate will ich haben. See them? Hmm? Your Honor is here. The one you sent to Captain Tom. Ah, Harris. Captain Ney! What news from old Tom? No news, Philadelphia. Really. I couldn't find him. The cave was empty. What else did you hear? What else did you hear? I met Alexis Kokonaz, the schoolmaster from Yurakari. That's all. What did he say? Sit down. What did he say? Who? The schoolmaster. He says, many Germans in the Valley of Amari. He says, Kenneth Tom and Corporal Yanni pack up this morning and move up to a new hiding place. Cave on Yarakari, no longer safe. <laughs> What is it? Boy come with letter from Andoni. 
The Germans are drawing a cordon between us and the sea. One thousand men, Philip. We say we must leave at once. Bill, Bill, is anything wrong, Major? What's up? They're trying to cut us off. We've got to move. After oh, Ah, Winston Churchill. Georgie. Have you ever seen a German before? He has good boots. They're drawing a cordon between us and the sea. And then he sent this child down with a letter. I thought it was going to light fast if there was danger. Thick mist outside, visibility five yards. I refuse to climb mountains in weather like this. I have no intention of breaking my neck. No climb. We go down in valley. Much easier break neck. <laughs> the Geneva Convention stipulates that general officers shall be accorded transport suitable to their rank. You have nothing to worry about, sir. The shepherd's very kindly agreed to loan you his donkey. Private Manoli. Here, man him up. Come on, George. Scout ahead. We might run into a German patrol. And taxi. Jerry's? I don't know, it could be. Hello. Yes? You know, call out, huh? They can't see us either. Come on. So you can't stay here. I will not get on that brute again. I would rather die. All right, you die. Manoli, don't be a fool. Manoli. Get up. Well, sir. And you must help me. Oh! Careful, I think I'm going to faint. Come on, I'll oh, get my scarf. Oh. I'll go ahead and wreck it around. Oh. Come on, Nicky. Oh. 
Been followed. Well, I'm sick of being followed. Let's wait for them here. Yes, sir. George, up the back. Nico, take the general down there. From the rest of you, undercover, take up the position. Come on, hurry. Where are we? Not far, village. Village Anumeros. Major, you are being followed by a patrol. Of course, you may succeed in wiping them out, but in any case, your firing will attract the other soldiers. You had better give up and save your lives. Save your life, you mean, sir? I know what will happen to us. We'd sooner fight. Not done, Look, look! Here come the enemy! <laughs> Here come the patrol! Fill it him, look! Look! <laughs> <laughs> of course, she followed donkeys. I'd forgotten that. Paddy. Fires. Those must be Andoni's signal fires, warning us to stay on the other side of the valley. Manoli. Fill it in. Give me that letter. Come on. This doesn't say we should move. It says we should stay where we are. Doesn't it? Well, read it. Yes, Philidem. You realize there are about a thousand German troops in these hills, and we've come right through them in the mist. I read Andoni's letter. You misread it, you blithering idiot. Andoni never could write properly. Nico. I want you to go up to the village and see if any of our runners are there. Look in the rocky distillery. You might find him there. Uh, Fill them. Mm -hmm. Is it true you take your general to Cairo? Yes, quite true. You always leave boots when you go? Always. Fill them. Give me general boots. I can make them fit. I wish to be a runner for resistance. But without boots in the mountains, I cannot run. The uh, general won't believe in his boots, Nico. Why not? Uh, rule of the game. You'll get someone with you. Men never give boots to boy. They want them for men. <laughs> You'll be a man yourself soon. Now run off. We'll join you later in the other grave.
matter? Look, Philly, then. What's a cigarette? Still smoke. Mi miro volite. Cosa sarà? I miei andati. Andati. I am honored, Major. Not faces one forgets. Kill it then! Nato Nico! Nicolaki! Surrender. Did you find the runner? Yes, Philidem, he is here. Why has he come? He cannot. Cannot? Cannot what? Cannot walk, Philidem, like this. Like old village. <laughs> there lies a completely happy man. Do you see who it is? The face is familiar. Eh? Don't bring a cigarette near his breath. Why don't place the body? It's the runner I sent to tell Sandy. Oh. I shall get much out of him today. Well, he may have a letter on him. Come on. Oh, let's search him. Of course, they expect to be searched. If he's got it on him, it'll be a hell of a job to find it. If he's got it on him, we'll find it. I know, he's turban. Yeah. That's from Sandy, all right. I raise an aged, tattered, almost historic but respectful hat. All my rosiest congratulations. <laughs> A boat will call for you at Radakino Beach at 2200 hours on the nights of the 13th, 14th, 15th, respectively. It's the only beach unoccupied and with suitable depth of water. Flash signal SB. But today is the 14th. <sighs> if only we'd known about this last night. How far is Radakino Beach? Good two nights' march for you and me. But not with Herr General. Yeah. Well, we'll have to risk it. Suits me. Risk what? Daylight marching. We'll march all today, all tonight, and all tomorrow. The Andartes will scout ahead for us, and we'll have to carry our strength through joy, even if it kills us. We've got to do it.
Bravo, bravo, bravo. Merci, No shade. No, it is impossible. I can no no look. Come on, Mr. mein Schulter. This is no time to crack up. We'll soon be there. Unterschied. Nehmen wir ein Kriegsgefangener Schweinerei. Many Germans. They've just arrived. Maybe not stay. They're putting up tents. We've had it. Maybe find another beach, huh? Yeah, too late. Over there, village Calicrates. Captain Sandy there with radio. Only 20 cigarettes. Send Nico. Ask for another boat. We might have to hide up for a whole week. I'm finding the general going ill on us. Get Yanni and his undarties. We kill a lot of them. We've got machine guns and mortars. Well, we attack after dark. Money for jam. No, it won't do. I've got to bring him back alive. <clears throat> Where can we hide up near the beach? Monastery. Four cigarettes. How too risky. I know. Good cave. How far from the beach? Seven cigarettes. Eight. Seven. Eight. Seven. Eight. Shut up. We might have to run for it. Feel them? Huh? I know a very good place. See beach. See everything. Where my grandmother keep bees. I'd say there's about half a company of the blighters. And they're there to stay. Thanks. Damn bad luck, you know. Here we are, general and all, ready to go. Boat waiting to take us off, and the place stiff with heron folk. They've been in and out for the last two nights. 
Old Brown Kelman were getting fed up with us. We'll be lucky if it comes in a third time. Here we go. If only I could think of something to draw them off. Nico, give my boots a polish, will you? You're a good boy, Nico. Thank you. Yuri, we'll say anything, Cigarro. And where do you live? Up there, at Anumeros. Oh, the high village, where we drank Rocky. Yes, that is the name. Anumeros means high place. And where is your house? No house. House burned by Germans. Oh. But where do you live? With my uncle, Shepherd on Siloridi, where you stay some nights. I take you cheese to market. Father, mother, brother, sister? Have mother, have sister. Father shot by Germans. Oh. Well, where do they live? In Gerakari. My mother saw, make clothes. My little sister help. How old is she? Ten years. Well, it looks hopeless. We'll stick it out. Someone will have to go over to Sandy to send a message to Cairo. Arrange a new boat and a new rendezvous. Ah, you could do with a good pair of boots, Nico. How much do they cost in Yerakari? No boots in shop. But George and Andoni have good boots? Those are British boots. Can't you get a pair? Perhaps one day. Can't you buy German boots? Oh, yes, on black market. German boots good, too. Would you like to buy a pair? What way? With this. Here. It's a gold sovereign. No, no, no. no. It is a German gold piece. Now, any German officer will change it. Oh, to Germans? No. Why, you've not done any harm to the Germans? Many things. Oh, I see. Well, uh, you see, they don't know that. Now, you give that to a German officer and tell him you want boots. Good boots. Thank you. Oh. I wouldn't say anything about it if I were you. You see, George and Andoni, might be angry that I give it to you rather than to them. I'm very grateful to them, too, of course. You understand. Yes. And I wouldn't waste any time about it if I were you. It's a valuable coin. You might lose it. Somebody might steal it. Yes. Nico! I want you to take a message for me to Captain Sandy. He's in the cave above the village of Catacrates. What's the quickest way to get there? I think quickest way is go down to coast. Go along coast to Paciano. Go up gorge of Caligradis. Well, don't get pinched by the Germans, will you? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll take it. That's a very important message for Cairo. You must get it to Captain Sandy as soon as possible. You do know the cave at Calicratis, don't you? I go, Philidem. Nico. Ella. What's the matter? What's he been saying to you? Yes, I brought some food. How are you oh. feeling? Still considerable pain in my shoulder, I'm afraid. I hope you will find that doctor soon. My, my heart is not strong, you know. And how are your plans progressing? They aren't. I did warn you you would find the beaches occupied. <laughs> General Boyer is not an idiot, you know. You're right about the beaches. <laughs> and you now propose to storm the Rodakino beach with your desperados and take it by force? I had thought of it, but... Uh... I changed my mind. 
Very wise. Oh, would you send Nico to me? He's a nice boy. I enjoy his company. Very pleasant to talk to. I'm sorry, sir, but uh, I sent Nico on an errand. Major, which way is your errand boy supposed to go? West, why? Because Nico appears to be going down to the beach. Come with me. You trust that boy, don't you, Major? Hmm? Yes, I do. Yes, you trust all Cretans, don't you? Well, it's mutual. I don't think you'd understand, you know. They never betray you, never let you down. You can see for yourself. You trust them, fight for them, risk your lives for these barbarians. These barbarians, as you call them, are some of the world's greatest philosophers. And your ancestors are running around with horns in their heads. I'm not really concerned with what happened 2,000 years ago. What matters is what you are today. And I fancy, Major, you are in for a big surprise. Don't come on, Ferran Hauptmann. Ich muss sofort mit dem General Breuer sprechen. Hier, Breuer. Bezahnke, General. Ich habe Sie nicht erkannt. Herr General, wir haben den Herrn General Greipe gefunden. Ein Goldstück? Ach so. Ein 50-Mark-Stück mit einem Kugel noch. Jawohl, Herr General. Sofort. Los! Der junge Soldat. Jawohl, Herr General. Ich schätze ihm sagen. Du bleibst hier. Hallo. Jawohl, Herr General. Ja. Ja. Selbstverständlich, Herr General. Jawohl. Ende. Wo ist Rodakino? Rodakino. They're on the move. You're sure? Yes. Yes, they're moving. Right, pack everything up. You are too late, Major. Captain Moss, you, I think, are the expert. What are they? Junkers. Three of them. Correct. General Breuer would not make that mistake a second time. No. Now, the troops down there are advancing on your front. The Junkers will drop the paratroopers in your rear to cut you off. The pinpointed your position. How? Because I bribed that boy with a gold coin to go down to the beach. You have been betrayed for the price of a pair of boots. You got a bargain for one piece of gold. War is war, and facts are facts, Major. They're at the crossroads. They've stopped. The officer's looking up here. My God! They're turning this way. No. No, they're turning back. Yes, they're on the road to Paziano. Good old Nico. He's done it, Penny. By God, he's drawn them off the whole boiling lot of them. Shut up, Andoni. If ever there was a lucky coin, General. Nico did everything you told him, he did everything I told him too. Your fat sheep are marching straight into a trap. 
And our hungry wolves are waiting for them. Come, Bill. Eleven o'clock, we're an hour late. George, get in down in the general. Come on, flash the signal. Sugar Baker, SP. Right. Sugar Baker. Sugar Baker. How do I flash Sugar Baker? Don't you know the Morse code? Me. But don't you know? Manel, oh no, you wouldn't know it either. I must say we are a nice couple. <clears throat> so, do you know the Morse code? Of course. Aren't you professional soldiers? Good Lord, no. The major here? No, an amateur, a distinguished amateur, but still an amateur. Himmel, Arschensir, and I've allowed myself to be captured by amateurs. I should be the laughing stock of the Wehrmacht. Don't let that worry, sir, if I were you. Where we're taking you to, nearly everybody's been captured by amateurs. You are not likely to take me anywhere, unless you learn to signal your boat. There's a point, Julia. Fiddy them. Someone coming. Down the coast. I know that hat. I know that smell. Alexi! Alexi! Oh, yes, sir. Sandy! Oh, Sandy! Sandy. Oh. Come here, quick. We're in trouble. Sandy, do you know Morse? M Morse who? Morse code, you idiot. Oh, yes, of course I do. Flash the signal. Oh, where, where do you want me to flash? Hmm? What? Oh, there. Out there. Oh, there. Let's see. What do you want me to flash? Uh, uh, sugar, sugar Baker. Sugar Baker. Oh, SB. Hmm. 
Well, we had to pack up because there were a lot of Germans coming our way. Well, I thought I'd come down and see you all. The Andartes are out. I expect you heard them firing in the gorge. They're right behind me. Yes, sir. Boat stop. Sandy, you're yes, a genius. You deserve a putty medal. I say, where's the general? Oh, uh, you're yeah, there. General Kreiper, Captain Sandy. How do you do? How do you do? Another amateur. At least he knows the Morse code. Dingy coming. Fill it up. Men coming. It's Yanis and his Antarctic. Did you wipe them out? We wiped. <laughs> Any prisoners? One. One? A German? Greek. Greek? Work Malatos. Nico! Nico, well done. Oh, Erasmus. George Manoli, the Securities. Nico, you better come with us. Major Lee Farmer! Yes, here, here. Have you got the general, sir? Yes. The Major is to Captain's compliment, sir. He's very anxious to get that. to get out of here, sir. Your scarf, Captain. Oh, thank you, sir. Here. Come on. Well, sir, we're underway. <clears throat> We're underway, and tomorrow morning we should be in Cairo. My congratulations. George and Manelli and Andalis send their best wishes to Thank you. And so, odd enough, does Nico. Nico? Yes, he's on board with us. We didn't think it was safe to leave him behind after what he'd done. He can go back after the war. He's a brave boy. Yes. Clever boy, too. Yes. And honest. He brought it back to you. Brought what back? Your lucky gold coin. Yes, an honest boy. Yes. Bill. All your possessions, sir. Your knight's cross. Various buttons. Your iron cross, first class. Your hat. And your lucky gold coin. You see, Bill's very observant. From the moment you lost your knight's cross, he's been keeping an eye on you. You scattered a trail right across Crete, like Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> and we had a series of little birds picking them up for us. <laughs> Gentlemen, I wish to correct a remark you made. Which one? You are not amateurs. You are professionals. Thank you. No hard feelings. Not at all. It was a highly successful military operation. Brilliantly executed. I'm going up to the wireless room, sir. Have you a message for General Breyer? Yes. Uh, kindly inform General Breyer that he is an incompetent idiot. <laughs> As you wish, sir. Uh, how's your shoulder? Terribly painful. You know, you promised me a doctor. Yes, yes. One outside. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. And your friend Nico. Philedem, 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 Kiamana, man. Philedem, Kiamana, man. How do you feel? Flat. You look flat. 
I know how I'd like to look. How would you like to look? Like an Englishman. Dressed like an Englishman. Leaning, Leaning against, against the Ritz bar. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>